For why the Lord shall have mercy of Jacob, and he shall choose yet of Israel, and shall make them for to rest on their land. And a comeling shall be joined to them, and shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And people shall hold them, and shall bring them into their place. And the house of Israel shall have them in possession, in the servants and handmaids on the land of the Lord. And they shall take those men that took them, and they shall make subject their wrongful askers. And it shall be in that day when God shall give to thee rest of thy travail and of thy shaking and of hard servage in which thou servest before. Thou shalt take this parable against the king of Babylon, and thou shalt say, How cease the wrongful asker rested tribute? The Lord hath all broken the staff of wicked men, the rod of lords, the beat people that beat peoples in indignation with uncurable wound that subjected folks in strong vengeance, that pursued cruelly. Each land rested and was still. It was joyful and made full out joy. Also fir trees and cedars of the Lebanon were glad on thee. Since thou, sleepest, since thou sleptest, none ascendeth that cutteth us down. Hell under thee is troubled for the meeting of thy coming. He shall raise giants to thee. All the princes of earth have risen from their seats all the princes of nations, all they shall answer, and they shall say to thee, And thou art wounded as we, thou art made like us. Thy pride is down, thy pride is drawn down to hells, thy dead carrion fell down, a moth shall be strewed under thee, and thy covering shall be worms. Ah, Lucifer, that risest early, how fellest thou down from heaven? Thou that woundest folks, fellest down altogether into earth which said in thine heart I shall ascend into heaven I shall enhance my seat above the stars of heaven I shall sit in the hill of testament in the sides of the north I shall ascend in the highness of clouds I shall be like the highest nevertheless thou shalt be drawn down to hell into the depth of the pit they that shall see thee shall be bowed down to thee and shall behold thee, and they shall say, Whether this is the man that troubled earth, that shook together realms, that set in the world desert, and destroyed the cities thereof, and opened not the prison to the bound of men, to the bound men of him, all the kings of heathen men, all slept in glory, a man in his house, but thou art cast out of thy sepulchre, as an unprofitable stock, as defiled with rot, and wrapped with them that be slain with sword went down to the fountain of the pit as a rotten carrion. Thou shalt not have fellowship, neither with them in sepulchre, for thou hast lost thy land, thou hast slain thy people. The seed of the worst men shall not be called without end. Make ye ready his sons to slain, for the wickedness of their fathers they shall not rise, neither they shall inherit the land, neither they shall fill the face of the roundness of cities, and I shall rise on them saith the Lord of hosts, and I shall lose the name of Babylon, and the remnants and generation and seed, saith the Lord, and I shall set that Babylon into possession of an urchin, and into marishes of waters, and I shall sweep it with a besom, and I shall stamp, saith the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts swore, saying, Whether it shall not be so, as I guessed, and it shall be false so, as I treated in soul, that I all break the king of Assyrians in my land, and that I defile him in mine hills, and his yoke shall be taken away from them, and his burden shall be taken away from the shoulder of them. This is the counsel which I thought on the land, and this is the hand stretched forth on all folks. For why the Lord of hosts hath deemed, and who make unsteadfast, and his hand is stretched forth, and who shall turn it away? The burden of Philistines, in the year wherein King Ahaz died, this burden was made. All thou Philistia, be not glad, for the rod of thy smiter is made less. For why a cockatrice shall go out of the root of an adder, and his seed shall swallow up a bird. And the first engendered of poor men shall be fed, and poor men shall rest faithfully. And I shall make thy root to perish in hunger, and I shall slay thy remnants. Yell, thou gate, cry, thou city, all Philistia is cast down, for why smoke shall come from the north, and none is that shall escape his host. 
And what shall be answered to the messengers of folk? For the Lord hath founded Zion, and the poor men of his people shall hope in him.